<laughs> yeah, this is an area that uh, we are very excited about and, and really trying to encourage people to take advantage of. I'm sure you've heard about our Small Business Development Initiative. Um, and basically, that uh, program is designed to not only uh, equip uh, uh, business persons or entrepreneurs uh, with the business skills uh, that they need to run a business, uh, thinking through their processes and exploring opportunities and, and markets and, and, and uh, thinking uh, kind of out of the box um, um, in, in a way, um, but also pairing that with mentors, uh, people who have been there and done that, uh, along with providing capital and uh, money to either start up or to expand. So to the extent that uh, a business might, or an entrepreneur who has a great idea or has a business that needs to expand, uh, they need um, loans uh, to help them to grow, to buy a piece of equipment or explore a, a product or whatever. Um, we can we can support that um, either directly or through one of the um, existing uh, commercial banks. Uh, we also have small grants that we can give. Uh, where, uh, um, for instance, on a startup or, or a small business that is trying to do something new that, that in the, uh, the uh, view of the, the Small Business Development Center has an opportunity to really create uh, a new, new market or new products. They will actually grant um, uh, um, funding. So you'll have to pay back this grant uh, because we want to assist as best we can uh, to empower uh, people. Um, in addition to that, for, for certainly for, for startups, but also for uh, existing businesses, we, we have a program where business license can be waived. Um, so to the extent that um, you apply to the inland revenue for your renew renewal of your license, particularly if your turnover is less than $100,000, uh, you can get the license no uh, cost um, or very little cost, uh, which is something I think a lot of people don't, don't, don't know. Um, and then, again, uh, we have all of the product industry and, and uh, other um, light manufacturing acts that uh, uh, qualifies manufacturers for duty concessions um, on various imports, or inputs into the business. So, in your case, for instance, um, you're building furniture. Well, uh, uh, the lumber uh, and the materials could be duty free right? because it's a part of a, a, okay. a, a, a light manufacturing. Once you register as a light manufacturer, down at the BAIC Park, uh, there is uh, concessions for rentals and all the rest of it. Of course, uh, space is always a problem, and we're looking at establishing another one. And so, when they start to compare, say, to, in, to uh, foreigners and all that, uh, they think that there is an imbalance. It's really just a matter of, uh, I think, uh, us getting out all of the things that are available. And there's quite a few, you know, um, um, incentives that maintenance can take advantage of, particularly people who are willing to export. Uh, I think that is, that is, that is particularly uh, um, exciting for us, uh, and we're hoping that we can we can engage people um, to think outside of the Bahamas, particularly you know uh, in, in the region, because uh, in a lot of instances. Um, they are important to, to from Florida. So if they can import from Florida, why can't they import from us? If the work is, you know, is, is quality, exactly. Exactly. you know. Uh, and, so, and, so, and so that's something that, that definitely uh, I'm very excited about, interested in, um, trying to see how we can um, uh, uh, encourage and incentivize people to build and to, and to market. I think the biggest problem is marketing, you know. Uh, we don't think about... You know, how do I set up my, my, my uh, website? How do I um, uh, get into these markets uh, in, a, in, a, in a tangible way and go to the trade shows and, and, and go, go, go to the communities there and, and say, you know, I can offer this product. Uh, we, we, kind of, we kind of, by default, believe that we can't compete uh, with the U.S. Or, or, or other places, but we can because we have some really good uh, um, uh, products to export. So just a matter of being confident and, and the government going along with. Uh, we are thinking about that too, creating a, an export uh, promotion um, agency that will come and take people who are doing things 
and who the road shows uh, to expose the products. You know? Do you think they will actually be improving the lead times for uh, for approvals for the BAIC as far as rental spaces? Because I know we put ours in to try and get something there about a, almost a year ago, and it's just been you know a lot of a lot of waiting just yeah. to find out you know if you're if you're allowed or if you if there's space if you're approved or you know there's a lot i think there's a lot of room for growth just within our own industry with this woodwork um especially for uh companies like myself who have the potential to train a lot of others and not just in actual woodwork but in the business aspect of it uh marketing because you know we had to learn a lot of that you know back before facebook was even around you know um for, old fashioned way, you know, reaching out, calling people, you know, um, creating ads, uh, marketing campaigns, and whatnot. So with the potential to, to, to bring on a lot of kids, you know, who may be out of BTVI or maybe coming from college with, with like, you know, a degree or, you know, all of that comes into our, our line of work. But one of the hardest things is just tapping in on capital, uh, you know, the cost of just being in business, uh, rental space, you know, because we need a lot of space, you know, we need serious square footage to operate. So, um, a lot of that. So, I don't know yeah, so, if there's so maybe an avenue with the ice. Yeah, I think uh, the, if, if the, the park, the industrial park at the moment, I believe, is described, it, it, it's, it's leased out. Um, and as I say, we are trying to find, identify uh, new land. Um, that we can build, um, I'll create another park. Um, mm -hmm. uh, as to a timeline on that, I, I, I have to go back to the minister to see where they are on it. Um, but we do recognize that there is a need uh, for that. Like I say, it, it's, it's amazing uh, that, that BIC is busting at the seams. Uh, they're going through a little bit of a, a transition at the moment in terms of leadership there. Uh, so hopefully, mm -hmm. um, we're bringing some, some young, dynamic uh, uh, leadership, uh, who I think is going to do really uh, great things in terms of thinking outside the traditional way that, that they've been doing business. And because let's face it, they've been focused pretty much on, on, on farming and, and on the uh, uh, products, um, farmers market and those kind of things. And the other side, the industrial sort of side is kind of you know, taking a little bit of a backseat. I think this guy is going to bring a little bit more balance to it. And a little more progressive, progressiveness, okay. uh, in terms of, uh, particularly in terms of access to markets, um, and I think that, that's going to really work out well. Um, but the, the point is, is well taken in, in terms of that spacing uh, and trying to bring down the cost uh, of manufacturing. One of the things that we do have to lick uh, is this problem with energy, and I'm sure you, you, you have that because you're running electronic equipment. Yes, uh, yes, so, yeah, definitely. We've got to really lick that problem. Um, uh, whether we're using uh, alternative energy, solar, and all the rest of it, um, or, or we are able to get this transition uh, to LNG to, to fuel our, 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 our BPL engines, which should bring down and stabilize the cost uh, a little bit. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll start to see okay. some real changes in the next uh, year. Appreciate that. And um, I thank you for your insight. It's been, it's been very informative. Um, I'm taking a few notes here. Some uh, just so I can you know look back at it, uh, and at some point I think I'll uh, you know approach the BIC again and, and and see what you know what they can do to help us. In the meantime, um, keep up the good work. Listen, really enjoyed it, guys. Thank you, and I will drop by uh, to take a look. Uh, in fact, I have a kitchen that I need done, so we might just be talking. Yeah, man, you get you get uh, the, the discount. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank man. you, Antonio. Appreciate have, it have, and thanks for engaging. All right, thank you, sir. Have a good one.